everyone this is sandeep desai from asha tutorial so let us take here first example suppose we have to take a product of 2.314 multiplied by we have suppose 1.056 and this we want to do now this product we can't able to find out just simply so here we can use log table so we know that when there are product of two numbers and when we take log of that we just need to add the log of those numbers this is a product rule that we have to use over here so if i take log of suppose this product of two numbers 314 into 1.056 then i have to add the log of 2.314 in that i have to add log of 1.056 so how do we find log of this number that we were discuss in our previous lecture as this is a one digit single digit number so its characteristic value we can write that is 0 then let us write decimal point and what now we have to do find the log of 23 in first column and mean difference in fourth column here we have to find the log of 23 here there is a 23 in first column which is 36 36 and the mean difference that is in fourth column here you see in fourth column it is 7 which we are supposed to add in this we get 3643 so here we can write that is 36443 this is the log of 2.314 now let us add the log of 1.056 in this so again this is a one digit number so its characteristic value is 0 then let me write decimal point and we have to find log of 10 in 5 and 6 so what is log of 10 in 5 and 6 see here this is 10 and we have to find log of 10 in fifth column which is 0 to 1 to and mean difference in sixth column so here it is 25 so when i add 25 in 0 to 1 2 how much do i get 0 2 3 so let's take that 0 2 3 and when i add this to i'll get this number 3 and 7 that is 10 carry 1 this is 4 and 4 that is 8 then 2 and 6 that is again 8 and 0 and 3 that is 3 and decimal point and 0 plus 0 is 0 now let's say this is not our final answer this we got that is by adding the log of these two numbers to find the answer we have to take anti logarithm anti log of this number and how do we find anti log of this number see the anti log of first two digit num digit which come after this decimal point in next two columns so here we have to find anti log of 0.38 in eighth column and as here this is zero so we are not supposed to worry about mean difference so we have to find the anti log of Point thirty-eight. Here there is point thirty-eight, and in eighth column, you see here in eighth column. If I go in eighth column, how much is the value of that we have? Two four four three. So this is the analog of point thirty-eight in eighth column. So let us write that. So here we write analog of thirty-eight in uh, eight. That is two four four three. while deciding the decimal point position just add 1 in this characteristic value so 0 plus 1 is 1 that means as it is a positive one is so write this decimal point after one digit to the right so our final answer of this product of two number we got that is 2.443 now let's take one more problem so that we understood it in better way So let us take second problem. Suppose we want to find the answer of thirty-five point eight into ninety-four point twenty-four. 
this we want to find out by using log table so as again here there is a product so if i take a log of this 35.8 into 94.24 so as per the product rule we have to add the log of 35.8 plus log of 94.24 so let's find the log of this so here you see this is a two digit number so the characteristic value of this will be one as 2 minus 1 so characteristic value is 1 then let us write decimal point and find the log of 35 in 8 here you see the log of 35 in 8th column how much it is 5539 we have log of 35 in 8th column that is 5539 5539 plus to that we have to find the log of 94 in 24 so 94 is again a two digit number so its characteristic value is again one then decimal point and we have to find log of 94 in 2 and then i have to add the mean difference from fourth column remember 94 second column and fourth column mean difference so let's go here 94 this is 94 i have to find the log in second column which is 9741 and mean difference from 4 column which is 2. So if I add 2 here, I will get 9743. 9743. 9743. Then add this 2. So if I add here this 2, how much I get? 9 plus 3 that is 12. Carry 1. Then 5 plus 3 that is 8. The 7 plus 5 that is 12 then this carry 1 this 10 plus 5 that is 15 carry 1 and this 3 that is we get 3.5282 what we have to do of this let's find the anti log of this number 3.5282 and while finding the anti log as i told you we have to find anti log of the two digit number which comes after this decimal point means here we have to find anti log of 0 0.52 in 8 and 2 anti log of 0 0.52 in 8 and 2 so here we have 0 0.52 right and we have to find its anti log in 8 and 2 so in 8th column its value here we have that is 3373 in second column we have mean difference that is so if I add in this 3373 this 2, we will get 3375. So here the answer is 3375. Now here you see where we put the decimal point. Here the characteristic value is 3. In that if I add 1, we get positive 4. So I have to write the decimal point after 4 digit. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That means here. So my answer of this product that I get that is 3375 else we do the another thing that instead of adding 1 here as we get anti log of 0.52 in 82 that is 3375 right so the one which we add generally here instead of that let me mark here decimal point after one digit and whatever we get here this characteristic value let me write it as power of 10. So this way also we can write the answer of this particular problem. Now let's take one more problem. 5.234 we have suppose it is divided by 2.128. So how we can do this with the help of log table. Now as here there is a ratio there is a dividation here while using log table when we want to solve this we have to use quotient rule as per quotient rule we know that log of m by n when we take log of m by n there we do the subtraction of log of m and log of n so log of m minus log of n so this is quotient rule so let's apply this to solve this problem so here this log of 5.234 divided by 
2.128 to solve this we have to take log of 5.234 first of all from that we have to subtract the log of 2.128 so let's find the log of this number again here you see as this is a single digit number so the characteristic value of that is 0 point then we have to find log of 52 in 3 and 4 in third column that is 7185 and in fourth column its mean difference is 3 so when I add in this 7185 this 3 I'll get 7188 so here it is 7188 from that we have to subtract the log of 21 in 28 here again the characteristic value is 0 as it is a single digit number so let's see what is the log of 21 in 2 and 8 where is 21 here there is 21 and we have to find its log in second column that is 3 2 6 3 and mean difference in 8 column it is 16 so let's add this 16 here so what I get 3 2 7 9 3 2 7 9 here we have to subtract these two logs so let's do that now let's do the subtraction of these two logs now we have to find the anti log of this 0 0.39 in 0 and 9 so let's do that so where is 0.39 here you see here we have 0.39 we have to find its anti log in 0th column which is 2455 and mean difference in 9th column which is 5 so if I add that here I will get that is 2460 so my final answer is here 2460 and where do I put the decimal point here you see the characteristic value is 0 in which if I add 1 that means I get positive 1 so let me write the decimal point after one digit so my final answer here it is 2.460 I hope you understood this let's take one more example so you get better insight in solving such kind of problem let's divide the number 82.8 by 90.42 again by using log table so we do that here what we have to do so let's first of all find log of 82.8 as it is a two digit number so I'll write its characteristic value is 1 because we subtract 1 from whatever be the number of digit we have before this decimal point so the characteristic value is 1 and let's find the log of 82 in 8 so log of 82 in 8 so here there is 82 and the log of that in 8th column we have that is 9180 9180 from this we have to subtract the log of 90 in 42 again here the characteristic value is 1 and let's find the log of 90 in 4th column and mean difference in 2nd column so 90 in 4th and 2nd column so you see there is a 90 and we have to find its log in 4th column which is 9562 mean difference in 2nd column which is 1 it means we get that log is 9563 that is 9563 and we have to subtract these two logs so let me do here the subtraction this 0 minus 3 that doesn't get cancelled so 10 minus 3 is 7 then 8 minus 7 that is 1 then here 11 minus 5 is 6 and 19 minus 10 is 9 carry 1 and 1 minus this 2 1 minus this 2 we get that is bar 1 so we have to find the anti log of 0 0.96 in 1 and 7 to find the correct answer so let's do that 0 0.96 is here and its anti log in first column 9141 and mean difference we have to find from 7 column which is 15 
so if i add 15 here we get that is 9156 so 9156 this is the antilog of 0 0.96 in 1 and 7 now where we give the decimal point you see here there is a bar 1 in this when i add 1 that is minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so i will write the decimal point by writing like this 0 0.9156 just before this number so this is my answer of this particular problem now let's take some problems are related with the power by using power rule we know the power rule in logarithmic as per this power rule if you want to find out the a raised to m by using log table if we take log of a raised to m so that is equal to be right m times log of a suppose we have number 2.31 and we are supposed to find out its fourth power how do we do that by using log table it's very simple just by following this power rule i can write when i take log of this number i will write it as 4 times log of 2.31 so i have to take log of this 23 in 1 again you see the characteristic value here we write that is 0 as it is a single digit number so log of 23 in 1 what is that here we have 23 and its log in first column is 36 36 so i'll write this is 36 36 to this i'll multiply by 4 so if i multiply it by 4 how much do i get this is 4 6 are 24 then 4 3 is 12 and this 2 is 14 4 6 are 24 and 1 25 and this uh, 4 this are 4 3 is 12 and this 2 is 14 so it means we get this number after multiplying with the 4 that is 1.4544 we have to find antilog of this to find our final answer so let us find the antilog of 0 0.45 in 44 4. So here there is 0.45 and we have to find antilog of that in fourth column and let us add in that the mean difference form from fourth column which is 3. So here when I add 3 in this I will get 2847. 2847. 2847. So this is the antilog of 0.45 in 44. Four. Then where do I mark the decimal point? Here you see the characteristic value is 1 add in 1 that so I'll get 2 as it is positive 2 so let me write the decimal point after the 2 digit so my answer is here 28.47 now as you understood how to do the multiplication divideation or taking power of certain numbers let us solve one problem based on those rules by using log table 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 into 2.99 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 7. How do we solve this problem with the help of log table? While solving such kind of problem with the log table, remember one thing. Do the calculation of number separately and the calculation of power separately so if i separately write the numbers first of all that is 6.63 into 2.99 divided by this number is 5.5 and into this power collectively i will write as 10 raised to minus 34 then here we have this is plus 8 and this minus 7 if i take in numerator it becomes plus 7 so this power calculation we have to do it separately now to solve this particular product and divideration let us use log table so here as there is multiplication of 6.63 and 2.99 first of all i will add the log of 6.63 in 
log of 2.99 let's find their logs now so let me write here their characteristic value those are how much we have zero as they are single digit number now let's find the log of 66 in 3 log of 66 in third column here we have that is 8215 8 to 1 5 and then we have to find log of 29 in 9 log of 29 in 9th column that is 4 7 5 7 4 7 5 7 if I add this to how much do I get let's see 7 plus 5 that is 12 then this is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 8 plus 4 that is 12. So I'll get this is 1.2972. So this I get by adding the log of these two number. But remember to this number we have the divided number that is 5.5. .5. It means from this number we have to subtract the log of 5.5. .5. And how much it is there we have? The characteristic value of that is 0 we have to find log of 55 in 0 remember if nothing is there we have to find log of this number 55 in 0 so let's find that so here there is 55 and log of 55 in 0 we have that is 7404 so it is 7404 if i subtract this 2 let's see what we get 2 minus 4 that means 12 minus 4 I get here it is 8 carry 1 7 minus 1 is 6 then 9 minus 4 that is 5 this is again 12 minus 7 I get that is 5 carry 1 and here I get 1 minus 1 is 0 so here after adding the numbers adding the logs and subtracting one log I get this number we have to find anti log of this number now anti log of 0.55 in 6 and 8 let's do that anti log of 0.55 in 6 column and mean difference in 8 column that is 7 so how much we have this is 3597 plus 7 so how much we get that is that is 3604 right 3604 3604 and where do I put the decimal point? If I add 1 in this 0, I get positive 1. So just after 1 digit, I will write the decimal point. So after solving this bracket, definitely with the help of log table, I will get this answer that is 3.604. And next to that, into I will write this 10 raised to this 8 plus 7 is 15 and minus 34 plus 15 that gives me minus. 19 yes so this is my answer of this particular problem so this way we can able to find out the answers now suppose sometimes it is asked to find out the cube root or fourth power uh, uh, root of certain numbers suppose we have here one number that is 125 and if you are asked to find out cube root of this now already we know the cube root of 125 is 5 but with the log table do we get the same let's check so cube root of 125 that means 125 raised to one third we have so by power rule it is 1 by 3 times we have to take log of 125 now 1 by 3 times what is the characteristic value of 125 as it is a three digit number so its characteristic value is 2 3 minus 1 that is 2 and we have to find log of 12 in 5 so let's find the log of 12 in 5 here there is 12 and in its fifth column we have its value is 0969 0969 to this we have to divide by 3 so if I divide it here by 3 how much I get let's see this is 0.36 18 then remain 2 then 3 9s are 27 then 3 8s are 24 and again 3 9s are 27 next to that remains but let me take here 
after decimal only up to four digit this number this is not the answer we have to find the antilog of this number let's find the antilog of 0.69 in 8 and 9 so let's do that here we have 0.69 and its antilog we have to find in 8th column and mean difference in 9th column that is 10. So when I add 10 in this 4989, I will get 4999. That means I can write this as 4999. And where do I put the decimal point? Just after 1 digit because when I add 1 in this 0, I get positive 1. So I get the cube root of this 125 by using log table that is 4.999 which definitely we can write as 5. So it means our answer is correct. So like this we can take certain numbers of which we know the cube root or squares or even we know the product of two numbers. So like that we take a number and by using log table we can find their answers and we can cross check so that uh, in using log table we will become more perfect so i hope you understood how to use log table while solving the problems related with multiplication divisation their combination and also to find powers and roots or cube roots etc thank you